5.1 beta has started, and we already have some sad news about X Belanc, bad news about Capitano, and updates on the new characters. In this video, let's take a look at what new information we've gathered since yesterday. Save up to 20% on Genesis Crystals at lootbar.gg. All you need is your UID and server. Link in the description. Let's start with X Belanc. I bet a lot of people have heard this name before, but don't even know who he is. It's understandable since he hasn't been mentioned in the game yet. We've only seen his name once, and that was on Nouvellet's character card. On the card, x Balanc says, Someday, when they return, their true ordeal shall begin. It's common for new characters to be hinted at through another character's card. For example, in Zilonen's card, Mavwika asks her about her sunglasses. After Nouvellet's drip marketing, there were lots of rumors and speculation about x Balanc who he is and when he'll be playable. Some information suggested he might be the new five-star Bennett or something, but that doesn't seem to be happening. According to new info from Genshin Intel, x Balanc isn't going to be playable. This is disappointing for the players who were excited about him. However, keep in mind that this info is still early and things could change. We even saw his concept art a few months ago, so there's still hope. There's also updated info on the Genshin Wiki. If you haven't completed the Archon Quest yet, be aware that the next part might have spoilers. The Wiki says that x Belanc was the first Pyro Archon of Natlan. It also mentions that, like all the Pyro Archons after him, x Belanc started as a regular mortal with no special powers. After becoming the Pyro Archon, he established the systems and rules in Natlan that allowed future mortals to ascend to Archonhood. So, it turns out that all the Archons in Natlan were just regular people before. Natlan's title is Incandescent Ode of Resurrection, so maybe in the next Archon quest, our goal will be to revive him if he's dead. If that's the case, then the Flame of Wika was talking to in the first Natlan trailer might be x Belanc himself. Now to Capitano. According to information from Miruko, Capitano won't be playable in 5.x versions. But all the sources that reposted it say it's questionable, so keep that in mind. Usually, the Harbinger we meet in the Archon Quest of the new region becomes playable in that region. So, according to that logic, Capitano should be next. About a month ago, there was also information from another source, Uncle404 and TLHXG, that Capitano currently doesn't have a playable plan. According to the Harbinger Constellation Wheel, the next one should be Columbina, and there was information that she's related to the Pyro Archon. But there is no info about her in 5.0, nor in the 5.1 beta, so I'm starting to doubt she'll appear in Natlan. Now to the new character in Natlan. The new character's name is Ifa, a new male character mentioned in Kachina, Mualani, and Kinich's voice lines. All the characters mentioned in voice lines eventually become playable. We should get three male characters in Natlan, two boys like Bennett, so it might be Kinich and x Balanque, since it was said that x Balanque is medium character. The one tall male character could be Ifa, or it might be Kinich and Ifa as medium, while Capitano will be a tall character. Which one do you want to be released in Natlan? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to save up to 20% on Genesis Crystals, visit lootbar.gg. Link in the description.